sharpen your search skills. This podcast, number 82, is intermediate. It requires a working knowledge of Accordance Bible software, but no knowledge of Hebrew or Greek. Accordance's search engine is at the very heart of our Bible software program. It's easily our most used feature and the most underused feature. That's because simple searches in Accordance are so easy, people just use it. Very few users have stopped to wonder what other possibilities there might be. In this episode, we'll cover two different ways to sharpen our searches, using search options and coordinating commands. Search options. Searches begin with the search entry section of a workspace. It's located just below the toolbar and just above the search results section. The search entry section allows us to select the search text, whether we want our search to be flex or exact, and whether we want to search for words or verses. All of these choices are considered basic and covered in podcast number 80. In this episode, we're going to take a look at adding search options, located here. By clicking on the plus icon three times, we can access all our search options simultaneously. In order, they are range, scope, and bracketed words. Let's tackle them in order. The first search option is range. While range is normally set to all text, we can choose to search just a subset of the text by changing it. Let's search for holy in the wisdom literature of the Old Testament. We'll use analytics to show a hits graph. Here it is. See how the search and graph are both limited to just Job through the Song of Songs? Now if we switch to law, we limit our search to Genesis through Deuteronomy. We can even set up a custom range. We'll just select Define Range, then New, and enter the books, chapters, or verses we want. They can even be non-contiguous. I'll enter a simple one here, Proverbs. Now our search is limited to just the book of Proverbs. There are several differences between presetting the range as a search option and just adding the range command to the search field. With the range option, Accordance only searches the subsection of the selected text. With a range command, Accordance first searches the whole text, then limits the results just to that range. The easiest way to see how this is different is by comparing the hits graph of the two different searches, the range option, which searches just the section, versus the range command, which limits the hits. By the way, if you're new to using the range command, remember that any custom range names must be placed in quotes, like so. The most common search scope is certainly by verse, but Accordance users have five other possibilities. Chapter, clause, sentence, paragraph, and book. Each of these choices breaks the text into larger or smaller search units. The three searches shown here are identical except for their scope. On the left, we search by paragraph. This is more appropriate than a search by verse if we want to find a speech or teaching, for instance, that addresses both topics. In this example, the words occur in separate verses, but in the same paragraph. This kind of search will find more hits than a verse search. In this case, 93. By the way, notice that this is a flex search. These options, and the connecting commands we'll cover later, work in both flex and exact searches. Now in the middle, we have a standard verse search. Here, both words appear in the same verse. This search found 35 hits. The third search has the scope set to clause. Both words must appear in the same clause of a sentence as in this example. This is the smallest unit of the three and as such found only six hits. Every text has its issues, and that's true of the Bible too. The bracketed words option addresses material that may or may not be in the text. Editors use brackets to identify a reconstruction or a disputed passage. Accordance searches can include those words, ignore those words, or search just those words exclusively. Let's see what those passages are in the ESV. 
We'll use the period search symbol to search for all the opening square brackets in the text. Here they are, the three passages the ESV editors have identified as disputed. Now, as an aside, I prefer a translation that lets me know there may be an issue in a passage, rather than one that just makes that decision for me. We're going to copy Mary Magdalene from Mark 16.9 and search for it in three different ways. First, we'll search for it included. You can see it right here. We have found that passage as part of our search. We're going to ignore the words in brackets and search again. You'll notice here there is no passage. Last but not least, we will search for Mary Magdalene in just the bracketed words. And you can see we found it here. This search won't be used a lot in the Bible. However, there are texts, like the Dead Sea Scrolls, where a lot of the text is reconstructed. That's where scholars use our bracketed words option. So they can search for words that are reconstructed or words that are in the text itself. If the period character search we used in the previous slide intrigued you, let me mention here that the period is but one of a number of search symbols recognized by accordance. They are all found under the search menu. Just select Enter Symbol to see them. We'll cover those in a separate podcast. Coordinating Commands Now let's take a look at the coordinating commands. There are seven of them, all under the search menu. In order, they are AND, OR, NOT, XOR, followed by, preceded by, and within. We'll look at each of these in turn, but before we do, notice that the keyboard shortcut for each of them is Shift-Command plus the first letter of the command. The only exception is followed by, which uses a B for behind. For convenience sake, let's cover these commands in two separate groups. Here's a helpful chart showing the difference between the first four coordinating commands. AND means that both or all the words must appear in the same verse. OR means that the verse can have at least one of the words, but can have both. NOT means that the verse must have the first word, but cannot have the second word. And XOR means that the verse can contain either word, but not both. When would this kind of search be useful? Well, consider that Hebrew often uses polar opposites to indicate the whole. From Dan to Beersheba, for example, is a euphemism for all of Israel. With that in mind, let's search for every verse that contains heaven and earth. Here are a couple of examples in Genesis, where heaven and earth simply just occur in the same verse. Now, if we move to the Psalms, we'll see here in this particular Psalm, this pair of words clearly means all of creation. So why not just search for the phrase heaven and earth? Well, such a search would have missed this verse in Daniel 4.34, where the poetic phrase among the host is clearly paralleled with among the inhabitants of the earth. The author did that in order to emphasize that none, no one, can oppose God. The last three coordinating commands are also very similar, as they deal with word placement. Love, followed by peace, means that the word peace must come after the word love, but not necessarily right after. It can appear ten or so words after, just as long as it's in the same verse or whatever scope we happen to have set. Love preceded by peace means exactly the opposite. Peace must appear before the word love. It can be the word just before or many words before, but again, it must be in the same verse or the same scope we set. That only leaves love within question mark words of peace. This command specifies how far away the two words can be, but we have to be sure to remember to replace the question mark with a number. Now let's mix our two searches and use the within command. We'll search for heaven within four words of peace. Notice that this hit has the two words separated only by a period. This one has three words between them, while here Heaven and peace are separated by a single word. Master these search techniques and you'll be well on your way to being an accordance search master. More importantly, 
you'll be able to find the results you want with less effort and in less time, time you can invest in other kinds of study. This has been Dr. J for Cordon's Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp. Thank you.